Hey, how's it going everybody? Newcastle Ninja here, and what I have for you today is one from the off-grid line. And this is from their Black Mamba series. This is the Enforcer. This is not the Enforcer XL, but the Enforcer. It's a scaled-down version of the XL, naturally. And uh, this is pretty awesome. And what's also extremely awesome about this one here is that it's this version here is in 154 cm steel. Whereas before you could only get this in D2. Not the knock D2, but for about 20 bucks more, I'm going to go for the 154 cm. And it's got a nice DLC coating on it. There is their symbol. And there you go. Saw these on Amazon. And it's a uh, it's pretty incredible. I gotta say, overall, again, we are looking at let's see, seven and a half inches. And the blade itself is just over it's just three and a quarter. And a nice three inch cutting edge. So yeah, getting it right there. Just over three inches. And the handle on this is four and a quarter, and we're only at 4.4 ounces. This is, as they like to uh, endorse their products, and they are most certainly accurate when they are saying that these are overbuilt and made ready for just about every kind of hard-use cutting task that you can get yourself. Uh, it's a great tactical knife. It's a great defensive knife, if that's uh, of your choosing. And it's a great size, too. I was... A little hesitant at first when I went to see that this was a three and a quarter inch blade, but uh, I did have another version of their knives, and that is the Cayman XL, which pretty much sold me on their line of knives because they are really impressive. I uh, gotta say, uh, from what I've read about them, they are family owned business, an American business, and that's always cool. Uh, high quality, hard use, ever built, made with excellent fit and finish. They also have a lifetime replacement if you want to go ahead and register your knife on their site. And what's also very cool about them is that they support the vets and our cops. So that's also very cool. So there you go. Um, this does have ceramic bearings to it. So yeah, it's got a pretty nice dropping action. And the jimping is just pronounced enough to really feel it but not overly aggressive and there is no jimping on that tab but the way it's positioned at all flies right out a reverse tonto blade is no joke either it is very very sharp they are pretty great with the edges that they put on here and it's got a nice snappy action to it as you can hear yeah got a nice flick to it and even though this is the uh, smaller version, uh, this here, you can still get four fingers on it just perfectly. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the Diamond Texture G10 they have on this is pretty aggressive, but not to the point where it's uncomfortable. It is. It gives a great solid feel grip, even if your hands are wet, muddy, or what, or if you have gloves on. And this does offer a low-profile, deep-carry pocket clip. And look at that. They even recess it down with them screws inside there and everything. And also very cool, T8 hardware for the screws. And that's not just on the pivot, but on the body. And that's very, very awesome. Yeah, this is really a nice everyday carry, everyday use, hard use tactical and defensive knife uh, you can't go wrong with that reverse tonto blade and it's a uh, pretty awesome now one thing I did do was I did take the clip off on this so this wasn't going to be a pocket chewer and I might recommend if you ever want to do some sanding down on one of your uh, handles that might be aggressive I've used this work sharp on more sanding projects than I have on knives. <laughs> and I can't recommend it enough. And it did a phenomenal job of just taking off just enough of that grip so that it just goes in and out of the pocket just nicely. Hey, from here you can see the nice scaling they did on there. Again, it's only 4.4 ounces. 
And this has really been an impressive knife. I've been carrying it every day, using it quite a bit. A little bit of light dropping, and you're right back to a razor. And it's a, it's a really nice one. So there you go. That is the Off-Grid Enforcer. And you can get these on Amazon for $79. If you want to opt for the D2 version, again, you can get that for $59. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please feel free to give me a like. Love to see you to subscribe. And uh, your comments are always welcome. Y'all take care, and I'll see you on the next one.